Just one more day to go. Hmm. Oh, I nearly forgot. <laughs> That's right. Just one more day until my birthday celebrations. Now, as you can see, this is my birthday itinerary, and in case either of you have forgotten, tomorrow is the big day. Now, if we turn to page four, turn to page four, you will see that the giving of gifts will constitute the governing portion of the day. Gifts for me? In fact, the rest of the day's activities are secondary to this one. What else are we going to be doing? You mean apart from the giving of presents? <gasps> to me, small bot. You know, I can't help thinking I'm going to be disappointed. Can we turn over? There's something I want to watch on full. Need I remind you that this is my birthday month and as such all programmes shall be chosen by me? Now go and get me a coffee. Why? Because it's your birthday month? Um, yes, that's it. Small bot, go to bed. But it's the middle of the day! Hello! Birthday month! Oh, wait till it's my birthday. You haven't remembered one yet. <gasps> huh? Huh? Is this clock correct? What did it say? That it's after four in the afternoon. Well, I make it almost five. Five? Why didn't someone wake me? Well, it's your birthday. You'd want a lion. We may as well forget about the birthday schedule. We'll have to skip the speeches and move straight to the presents. <gasps> My presents! What is it? It's a toilet roll pen holder. Mm. See? You can store all your pens and crayons and stuff in it. See? This one has a crayon in it. Hmm. Wow, that's great. But that's not all. I had some toilet roll left over, so I made a model of you. See? Ah, it's a mini mod bot. He has his own coffee cup and everything. Well, wow, thanks, small bot. That was great. Wait, there's more. More, great. Fat bot helped me with the frame, but I made the picture. What do you think? Can you see what it is? Um, it's great. Um, uh, bipeds? Uh, us? Uh huh. That's me. And that's Fatbot. And that's you there. Can you see what you're holding? Um, uh, a cup of coffee? No. You're holding the model I made of you. Oh, yes, of course. I was just about to say that. Right, well... Oh, yes, uh, well, here you go, Modbot. Happy birthday. Ah, now this is more like it. Oh. Oh, uh, sorry, Smallbot. I had planned to buy you more, but half my savings were gone. They're walkie-talkies. Why? Well, so that we can keep in touch wherever we are. See, look. Come in, Grey Squirrel. This is Purple Viper. Over. Hmm. Where's mine? But no, these are just for me and Modbot. Just go and draw another picture or something. Well, I'm sorry to report that now puts us well ahead of schedule. What is it? Fireworks! They're from the Professor. There's a box for you! It must be a birthday present! Oh. Happy birthday, Modbot. I got your message and I don't think conventional fireworks in a confined space are a good idea. Hope you find the presents inspirational. P.S. Have you had a chance to look at that experiment I sent down? Sorry. Come in, Over. What did the professor get you? Over and out? <sighs> A time management book. Again. And an audio tape, which is probably... Yep, a motivational audio tape. Is there music on it? Do me a favour and throw it away. Come in, Grey Squirrel. <sighs> Shut up. Welcome to the Sea of Tranquility. 
That is your new motivated life. Are you sure they're fireworks? They're indoor fireworks. This is going to be so exciting. Hmm, those don't look like fireworks to me. What do they do? Well, the first one's called the worrying worm. Apparently, when I light it, it will grow into an enormous worm. Hey, that was pretty rubbish. Okay, this one's called the creepy caterpillar. Ooh, this one sounds good. Apparently, when I light it, it will grow into an enormous caterpillar. Mm. Wow! Did you see that? Well, the last one is called... I think we get the idea, Smallbot. As good as they are... And these are really, really good. I think it's time to move on. Oh. Or we could finish them now. Right. As I was saying, the last one is called the Scary Snake. Hmm. Whoa, Flatbot. Huh? What are you doing? It says you have to keep well away from the snake at all times. It might bite. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't say that. But it does say that all flammable body parts must be kept at least five inches from the snake. Sure. I felt certain that the professor might try something like that when I asked him for fireworks, so I made some arrangements of my own. Now, these next fireworks were actually supplied by Fatbot. Were they? Well, I bought them with your savings. Mm. Thanks, Fatbot. Right, now for some proper fireworks. Is this a good idea? Setting off fireworks indoors, I mean. I can't see why not. They suggest that all spectators stand at least 50 meters away but they always build in a big safety margin. Still, 48 meters of safety margin seems a little optimistic. Well, go on then. Oh. What's this firework called? Hey, get off the airwaves, small bot. Over. This one is called Diamond Waterfall. Over. Ooh. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Come in, Purple Viper. This is Orange Ant. What's this firework called? Over. Emerald Cascade, over. Ooh, emeralds. It looks remarkably similar to the first, if you ask me, don't you think? Yes, I'd anticipated a lot more cascading. Well, perhaps the last one will be a bit more exciting. Come in, Purple! Oh, just give... Just tell us the name of the stupid firework. Uh, uh, this one's called Sparkle Stick. Oh. <laughs> It's a little bright, isn't it? Well, that's the best. The firework finished ages ago. The flames look like they're getting awfully close to the professor's experiment. Oh. Come in, Grey Squirrel. Over. I hate you. Over. Over the next 12 hours. 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 Uh -oh. Uh -oh.